Hi there, it's Karen Fitting with Photos Kept Alive, and I'd like to show you how you can use a designer's alphabet that's often included in a digital kit and change the color for your needs. What I've done is I'm using the Say Something Alpha Kit, and I've added most of the letters for my title. The way that I add the letters here is I just basically add to the page. Artisan likes to put it right in the middle of the page, so I've just layered them all on top of one another. I'm going to go ahead and move them to where I want them to create my word. Uh, let's do it this way. And so I'm moving the letters. It doesn't really matter if they're properly aligned because I'm going to use the alignment feature in um, Artisan in order to align them the way I want. So let's finish up the word here. Here we go. So we're making the word elephants. And one of the favorite things I like about these designers alphabets is that I like the detail they put into them. So I'm selecting all my letters. I mean, holding down the control key while I select on the letter. That way I can ensure that I have selected each one of them. I need to do that in order to do the alignment that I want to do. When you're considering alignment, you want to pay attention to what the last letter or last object you're selecting is, because much of the alignment on the Arrange tab at the top will be related to that last selected item. You know that when you hover over. So if I hover over this icon, which is telling me to align the elements to the bottom edge of the last one selected. And that's what I want. I want all the bottoms to be aligned with that S on the end. Now what this does is this does readjust my P, but before I change that, let me go ahead and, and work with the spacing. I have a couple of different spacing options. I can center all the items horizontally with the last selected. I can also make selected elements evenly spaced. Let's see what happens when I do the evenly spaced option. It kind of tightens that up. I like the way that looks, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and deselect just by clicking anywhere in my workspace. And then I'm going to move my P down. I'm going to use the control key while holding down the arrow down key on my keyboard in order to move that P down. Uh, I might, that's a second control arrow. And then I'm going to let go of the control key and just arrow up to get it into a precise position. The last thing I have to do before I recolor it is select all the letters again and group them together. So I'm selecting each of the letters while holding down the control key and clicking on the letter. Sometimes you have to be careful not to click the background of your page as well. You can always hide that in the elements panel if you need to. And then what I like to do is I either like to use the right click on my keyboard and I can group. Alternatively, I can come over here to the elements panel and select any one of the elements that are there and group. So now I'm going to make all those letters one element as a word. Then now what I can do is I can play around with the coloring. So I like to, a lot of people like to go right to cut and fill and choose a color. But by doing that, I lose all of the design, the, the letters, the stripes in the letters. So I want to keep the integrity of the design and just change its color. That's where I can go to the color menu. And I encourage you to play both with the adjust hue and color wash features. I'm going to use color wash and change the entire color. Now this can be moved around so I can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. If I had other colors on my screen, I could sample the color from my screen. Alternatively, I can click on the color palette and pick a color. Once I have a color, and notice the preview shows both small and large, I can now change the saturation. I can make it a little bit less saturated or a little bit more saturated. I can also change the brightness. I can make it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. And each time I make a change, you'll notice both the small preview and the big preview change along with me. So once I have it the way I want it, I can click OK. And then I can resize this in any manner I wish. And I can place it on my layout in the proper location. So let's take a look at the final product and how I used this. I have the page complete, and this was the page that we did. Let me go ahead and save this just in case. We'll take a look at that final elephants page with the elephants showing up. So this is the final layout that I did. I hope this was helpful for you and that gives you a sense of encouragement in using the color wash and adjust hue features. I'm Karen Fitting with Photos Kept Alive. Thanks for watching.